Guest is one of the most successful businessmen in the world. His television show, The Apprentice, airs Thursdays at 10 p.m. right here on NBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Donald Trump. Thanks for coming back. Nice group. Nice guy. <laughs> good to see you, buddy. Nice to see Everything's you. Everything's good. You just got back from Scotland. Is I that, did. What I were you did. doing over there? Well, I went. I'm building a big job, but I also got from Robert Gordon University a doctorate. I'm a doctor, so from now on, a doctorate in business. So, doctor, so I can call you so Dr. They were Trump. Very nice. Well, I think they like what I'm doing in Scotland, so they gave me a doctorate. So that was very nice. That's very nice. What are you doing in Scotland? I'm building a tremendous project, including a golf course along the water, oh, along really? the Great Northern Sea. And it's, uh, it's really going to be something special. The North Sea is a magnificent area, a magnificent place along the Scottish coast. You know and where the Loch Ness Monster is? I think so, yes. <laughs> Pretty close. I'm actually, uh, it, they're the largest dunes in the world. And it's going to be special. Plus, we're doing thousands of units of housing and everything else. It's the oil capital, Aberdeen. It's the oil capital of Europe, and it's really a thriving area. So I'm doing that. I'm having fun with it. Good. How's, it, how's your golf game? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm a good golfer, and I like doing courses. I've done quite a few of them. And Do you play your own been courses? Successful. I, I like to play them the best. I'm members of others, but I like to play my courses the best. And of yeah. course, I always say that my courses are the best. Because <laughs> if I don't, I'm not doing the right thing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. What kind of clubs do you use? Well, Trump Tail clubs? Taylor made no. Taylor made is a company that does a great job, and they, they all they all Callaway treats me great, and Taylor made is really spectacular and tightless. They're all good. They really yeah. treat me well. I'm I, I used to play, and I just now with the show I don't have time. I can't get out. I'm awful. But well, you know what's good? I, I, I move I'm fast. To hear that? Why? <laughs> I'm not good. Yeah, yeah. But I, people like to play with me because they can beat me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd like to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'd love to do that. Uh, I don't know if you heard this, but uh, you, I heard that you're running for president in 2012. Well, the word running is too strong. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it for the first time in my life. I hate what's happening to the country. I hate what OPEC is doing to us. They're just sucking the lifeblood out of us, and nobody's there to negotiate, to talk, and nobody's there to be tough. And I hate what China is doing. You know, we're rebuilding China because... Uh, be just I don't want to say everything, but a lot of the things that we make, we used to make product. We don't make anything anymore. China makes it. And we're rebuilding China. They have trillions and trillions of dollars that comes from us. And I'm just so tired of seeing what I'm seeing. Now, if somebody else did it, I'd be very happy. But nobody is stepping forward. Nobody is saying what's going on. And, you know, we have unemployment. We have all of the problems that we have. And we're just, between oil prices, we have 11 guys sitting around a table saying oil is going to be, we have oil all over the place. They have tankers out at sea, hundreds of tankers. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with the oil. There's so much of it. But they fix the price. If you and I did that, if we had stores, we go to jail. Okay, we go to jail. So I hate seeing what's happening, and so do a lot of other people. So I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, this, so you're saying like they, do, they fix the prices, they, like... They set the price of oil. I mean, oil is $82 a barrel right now. It probably should be 40 probably should be 35 uh, They sit around and they say, this is what the oil is going to be. And we don't have anybody with the whatever it is that's necessary to tell them it ain't going to happen that way. All right. Well, good. Well, if you're looking for a running mate, okay, I'm available. Be <laughs> That'll be something. <laughs> That would be some food. <laughs> we, would, we would so lose. It would be awful. Uh, uh, but you're, you're a good businessman, so I think uh, it could be very interesting. I think Forbes just listed you uh, again. You're always in Forbes. Uh, one of the richest uh, businessmen in the world. $2.4 billion worth. Well, they did do that, yes. Wow. <laughs> What do you think of uh, what do you think of the other uh, the billionaires out there, like the new the new money, uh, Mark Zuckerberg? Well, I think it's incredible. I mean, they're young kids and they hit on something, whether it's Facebook or 
some other technologically advanced stuff. I mean, it's always been, I love real estate, I love what I'm doing, but these guys, they become rich very quickly. But of course, for every one of him, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of others where it doesn't hit. But he certainly hit with Facebook and others have hit with other ideas and become very wealthy at a very young age. And I think it's great. I think it's amazing. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, uh, I think so too. Uh, now your show, uh, I know it airs in 80 different countries. Is that correct? That's right. 80 different countries all over. That's, so there's 80 different Donald Trumps? Well, sometimes it's me. <laughs> it's usually in the English speaking countries it's me, but a lot of times in Russia, in China, in different places, they get the Donald Trump of that country. And interestingly, sometimes it does really well and sometimes it doesn't do so well, depending on the guy. I mean, that particular position is very important for that show, but it's in 80 countries and doing really well. That's awesome. The Apprentice has been a lot of fun. More with Donald Trump when we return, everybody. Come on back. Welcome back. I'm hanging with the one and only Dr. Donald Trump. The Apprentice is on Thursday nights, 10 o'clock. Uh, this year, you went back to the original Apprentice. Well, we did. And, you know, it's uh, tough out there. The economy is very tough. And we wanted to go back. A lot of people wanted us to go and see what's happened since it originally aired. When we came out originally, we had many nights where we were the number one show on television. And but the world was a good place. It was, you know, everybody was thriving. Of course, I think you're doing better now than you did then. But generally speaking, <laughs> generally it's true. Yeah. You're doing great. Thanks. But man. generally speaking, uh, most people aren't, and they wanted to come back and bring real life into it. And it's sad uh, to a certain extent. Uh, these people are really down and out. Most of them don't have jobs. They used to have great jobs. And one of them has five children, a wife, and no income. Another one went to a that great guy's school. That crazy, that guy. Well, he's a little crazy. He's a little, he's crazy, a little yeah. wild. He is, but <laughs> he started to fight the first episode, right? Yeah, he's a tough guy. I mean, he's sort of like a little bit different. I don't yeah. know. Gets to borderline, <laughs> borderline a little crazy. It's interesting, though, yeah. But it is interesting. But he's got, you know, he's, I'd be crazy too. You have five kids, a wife, and no job, nothing, no income, and. Yeah. Somebody else went to a great law school and selling cupcakes. Beautiful woman, beautiful girl, and she's selling cupcakes. It's, it's a little bit of a sad situation. And in certain ways, I mean, it's great to watch, but it actually becomes very inspiring. Some of them handle it so well, it's incredible. And others, frankly, cannot handle it. They just no. can't handle it. How do you so say, it's very interesting. How do you say you're fired to these people? It's though? very tough. But I, I made the deal with them at the beginning. I say, you know, there's nothing nice about saying you're fired, but you folks have had problems. People are going to get fired, and we're not going to change that. And, you know, it's just one of those things. But it's been a great show. I mean, it's really been a it's great show. And then we start shooting next week Celebrity Apprentice, and we have a list of incredible celebrities actually that want to join because so many positive things whether it's trace atkins who becomes the number one country singer or joan rivers or piers morgan who took larry king's place and yeah. america's got time i mean they go on celebrity apprentice and they really went places so That's we have really a cool. lot of people we have great people coming on celebrity apprentice also. really when, when are you releasing the list well it's going to be released in about two months oh, we really? start shooting in a couple of days mm. can you give us a hint of anybody i'd like to have him on hey how good would he do right <laughs> The thing I like about Celebrity Apprentice, too, is that because uh, a regular apprentice, they win and they work for you. Celebrity right. Apprentice, they win money for a charity. They win money for and, and the thing with Celebrity that's easier is you don't take four, five, six weeks to build up the characters. Yeah. In other words, nobody knows who these 16 people are, and it takes. And now all of a sudden they like them, you know, but it takes a period, whether it's Omarosa or Bill Rancic or any of them, it takes time. Whereas with celebrities, you know, we've all grown up with these celebrities. They're very well-known people, and immediately it's instant recognition. So in a certain way, it's easier. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a thing that we do on our show called Favorites. Uh -oh. I just, it's pretty easy. Just tell me what your favorite things are. Okay. All right, ready? Favorite sports team? New York Yankees. There you go. <laughs> You think they're going to win the series, huh? Well, they've been doing great. You know, they're an amazing team. Derek Jeter, I watched him the other night. He's I a mean, great guy. It's just he? when that flag goes up, he just becomes better and better. And Swisher turned out to be so fantastic. Swisher's and great, too, yeah. All of them. Robinson Cano is yeah. unbelievable. Probably an MVP or certainly very close to it. They have a great team and a great group of people. And they have great owners. Yeah. N yeah, nice guys. Uh, favorite billionaire not named Donald Trump. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, I've got a lot of them, but, you know, I really respect Bill Gates a lot. I have a lot of respect for him. A great mind, great concept, and, you know, look at what he's doing now. I, you have to have a lot of respect for Bill Gates. Yeah, I do. I like him a lot. Uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Finally, last question. Favorite hair product? Wow. 
I'd say anything having to do with hairspray, okay? Just, All right, good. You, you like know. the hairspray. Very, like very hairspray. good. Donald Trump, The Apprentice, airs Thursdays at 10 p.m. right here on NBC. Sam Rockwell joins us next. Come on back.